Get in the South Bay and those Santa Cruz Mountains where some residents were forced from their homes by those rising waters. KTV's Jesse Gary live tonight in Santa Cruz with more on the story. Jesse, good evening. Mike, Julie, good evening to you. Just within the past 10 minutes, a video conference of city officials here in Santa Cruz wrapped up where they discussed the flooding that took place overnight and how to prevent it from happening again. Meanwhile, restoration efforts continue this late this afternoon and into the evening hours here on a street where, as Julie said, the water was so deep, a man could actually swim through it. Early Monday, no need to swim in the ocean for some Santa Cruz residents, as this street had waist-deep water. A downpour turned the cul-de-sac of Felix Street near Neary into a mini lagoon. In about 15 minutes, it went up about four inches, which was, it was pretty crazy. Well, it's still rising. Adrian Brooks recorded cell video showing wheel well deep water that submerged multiple vehicles and flooded five of 240 units in the Cypress Point apartments. It's pretty frustrating, unfortunately, because this isn't the first time. It happens often and you feel kind of trapped because the entire complex gets flooded and then you're just kind of stuck there in the middle of the night. Some residents who didn't suffer due to flooded homes had their vehicles flooded instead. I thought it was fine. I thought about like running in here and driving it, but if I opened my door, it would have been flooded. So we had to wait it out. Yeah, I waited out and I thought it was fine, but opened my door and there's like, what do you think, like two inches of water in it? Downpours later in the day inundated South Bay roadways, causing pooling and slick spots. Four accidents are reported and officers are investigating if weather played a role. Conditions prompting CHP officers to close some thoroughfares, such as Paulson Road in Watsonville. We're asking the public not to drive across flooded areas and to obey the road closures. Please don't drive around the road closures and don't move the signs. Officer Israel Murillo says mudslides and downed trees are also causing problems. We're asking the public to slow down when it rains and when the roadways are wet, slow down, activate your lights, activate your wipers. Back at the apartment complex, restoration crews working through the day on the damaged units as affected residents prepared to bail, at least for a short time. Some large leaves were clogging the drains as well. That doesn't help. Yeah, and, and once they're covered and they're submerged underwater at night, we don't know where they are and, and how, to, how to open them up. And that was one of the things I talked about in the video conference that the city just wrapped up a few minutes ago, the storm drains here. We'll go ahead and show you this one right by our camera position. Now, residents tell me that these consistently get clogged during storms and they come out here with their own brooms and shovels etc to clear them the city is saying that they do mitigation work during uh, during uh, when it's not rainy season during the off season uh, to cut, try to keep them clear but when there is a downpour like there was last night all it takes is a leaf or some piece of debris to get in there and that'll slow the flow outward flow and that's what leads to the flooding um, so the, obviously the residents here want to find out if there's something that can be done to try to prevent that from happening because they say this consistently happens when there's a heavy or hard rain the street floods and their cars are in jeopardy of being damaged we're live here in santa cruz jesse gary ktvu fox 2 news julie mike we'll head back to you and a heavy rain it was no doubt about that all right jesse thank you